This is an overview figure listing the viruses that you need to know. In this section, we will be discussing the Zika virus, which is right here. Our story starts on the beach of a tropical island. We are going to see this island from the perspective of some blood-sucking mosquitoes. These mosquitoes are full of blood, as you can tell by their red bodies. But they're not satisfied. They want some more blood of the tourists here on this island. These mosquitoes will help you remember that Zika virus is mosquito-borne, which, by definition, also means it is arthropod-borne, or an arbovirus. We like to use the Spanish word for tree, arbo, to help us remember the word arbovirus. So again, mosquitoes and the arbo tree stands for mosquito-borne arbovirus. One of the attractions of this little island is tourists get to meet the famous model slash actor Tanzika Amin from Bangladesh. You can see the sign here with her name on it. If you want to know what she looks like in person, you can just look it up really quick. Tanzika Amin. Her interesting name, Tanzika, represents Zika virus. So when you think of this island with tourists meeting Tanzika Amin, think Zika virus. Now the attraction is successful, as you can tell by the long line of tourists here to meet her. This long line represents the fact that Zika virus has a linear genome, a long line of people to meet Tanzika for linear virus. You can tell with the warm colors throughout the scene that this is an RNA virus. Recall that for viruses, a red or warm color scheme indicates an RNA virus, while a dark color schematic indicates DNA viruses. So, red warm color for RNA. And since Zika is an RNA virus, it is important to know whether it is positive or negative sense. As you can see from this rainbow back here, it is definitely a positive sense RNA virus. Rainbows are associated with positive vibes, so rainbows in our image represent positive sense RNA viruses. 